Well, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Western Electric trim line telephone, and this is the wall model. Now this is Bruce's telephone from Michigan and he's got a really nice telephone here. It's in very good condition. It's a really nice color and there's a lot of people that would like to have this telephone. It doesn't look like it has hardly any use on it at all if, it, if it's ever been used. And so we're going to do the initial check out of this telephone and we want to take a look at the handset. Now it has the round buttons and through the years they had different various style buttons and this is the uh, first type buttons they used, the round ones. It also has the original style when they went to a modular clip and uh, they stopped hardwiring them. This is the first style modular clip and port that they had and these handsets um, the cords are in very thick and they're very durable so you know these telephones uh, were made to last and and it's in very good condition so he's going to have this a long time the problem here is he needs a way to connect this telephone up to the wall and so he's talking about that in his note and we're going to install a modular line port in the base of this telephone so he can simply walk up to this telephone after he hangs it and plug any length line cord any color uh, that he chooses and you know it makes for a nice clean connection and if the line cord is ever damaged he can just simply replace it so we don't want to just hang a cord out of the telephone we want to put a modular port so he can plug any line cord into it that he wants and that can be changed so it's a better situation than to just hang a cord out of it and so we want to look at the inside now and the cover here also it's, it's in very good condition and it doesn't look like it's ever been repainted or anything like that so that's a plus now we can see our uh, older style modular port and clip here for the handset cord and these were like built like tanks they're very heavy duty and so this telephone is going to last a long time that gives you a look at the back now Bruce was asking if he was right if this telephone was from the 60s and it has a date code here 12 of 68 and then it also has a date code on the inside the 12th month 1968 so he's correct in that it is a 60s telephone problem with this telephone is it's not polarity protected so you may plug it in one jack and it might work properly and then you might go to plug it in somewhere else and the telephone will not work properly so we need to get a polarity protect circuit in this telephone so that it will always work properly for Bruce and we're going to uh, be installing that and getting the modular line port installed in this telephone. We'll get some more video of this as we move along and of the final checkout. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are in the middle of the process of repairing and converting this telephone. We have our line port installed now and so all Bruce has to do is walk up to this telephone and plug any length line cord any color that he chooses and that'll make for a simple clean connection we also have installed our polarity protect circuit on our PC board here and that will ensure that no matter where this telephone is plugged in it will always have proper polarity and uh, we'll go ahead and give you a look at that we have our circuit design in here on the board then we also have our modular port and we'll just walk up to it plug our line cord in we have dial tone at this point we 
can hang the telephone up, bring dial tone back, or we can hang it up at the base. So we want to do a few checks. If you watch the analyzer, we'll walk through our numbers. I'm going to end in a 2. I want to transmit into the handset. Every time you see that red light on the analyzer, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hello, hello. So we know that this telephone has receive, transmit, and that it's dialing out. We also want to check the ring cycle. And so we'll go ahead and hang the telephone up and we'll ring it. I'll let that go one more time. Give you some dial tone. So we know that this telephone is finished up basically. And so what we'll do is take a short break from the video and we'll put everything back together again and we'll do our final checks. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are ready for our final checks. So what we're going to do is go ahead and ring the telephone. I'm going to let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time. We'll give you some dial tone. Like earlier, we want to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch them go by. We're going to end in a 2. I'm going to transmit into the handset again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Every time you see that red light, like earlier, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. So we know that this telephone, like earlier, has received. It's dialing out. It has transmit. It's ringing in. We can take this telephone and I can switch it over to a regular line. I have a button here on my switch box and if I push that button that totally takes the analyzer out of the situation and gives me a line out. Now we're going to call a time and temp number. Uh, they have some problems with their equipment. Uh, the recording will start and then you'll hear a hum and then the recording will go again and you might have another hum in there. They're having issues with their equipment has nothing to do with what we're doing here on our end. So we'll go ahead and call that time and temp number, give you some dial tone. Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, August 27th. The time is 2.59. Current temperature 109 degrees. Clear tonight, lows around 70, mostly sunny, hot and humid on Wednesday, high in the upper 90s, heat index around 100. Okay, we can call one other number, we can call my number. I have a uh, hook switch button here, so we'll just push that and get dial tone again. Give you some dial tone. and it'll be busy. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Bruce and he can start enjoying his telephone. It's a very cool Western Electric trimline wall model, 1968. And there's a lot of people that would like to have this telephone, I'm sure. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.